Before we are starting this video, you have to make sure to download my newest version of my networking solution on my homepage. If you have downloaded it already from the last episode, you need to make sure to update it. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the second video of this tutorial course. In this video we are going to have a look how we can instantiate game objects over the server on the Unity client. I would say without further ado we are going to start right away into this process. So first of all we are going on to the server side. So make sure you open up the server. And before we are going to start, we need to create a new packet. So to do that, we are going into our network sense script and we are going to create a new packet, which means first of all, we are going to create a new server packet where we are going to say as instantiate player. And now we are going to directly create a method where we are going to send the method where we are going to instantiate our player. So we are going to say public static void and we are going to say instantiate network player. Of course we need a connection ID. And there we go. Like in the last video we are going to create a byte buffer buffer equals new byte buffer. And then we are adding, of course, our packet identifier, which means, excuse me, which means buffer.writeint32 int server packets dot instantiate player. And that's it already. Now we are going to send the packet over the network, where we're going to say network config dot socket dot send data to then connection ID comma buffer.data and buffer.head. And then we are last but not least we are going to say buffer.dispose. Alright, now we have successfully set up our packet where we are going to send over from the server to the client. And now we need to get a method where we are going to call this instantiate network player. So for this example, we are going into our network config and scrolling down. And as soon as we are getting a connection, we are going to send the player uh, into the world. So we can say network send dot instantiate network player and connection ID. Okay. Now we are already done with the server and now we are going back to the client. So remember, the server packets enum always have to be the same on the server and the client. So let's copy these, go to our client and within our client project we are going into our network receive as you can see right here, pass on the packet identifier and now we are adding our method. So private static void packet instantiate network player. Of course we need a byte array, so ref byte array and data. And now last but not least we don't need to read out the buffer itself, okay? We can just say, um, yeah we can directly call a method where we are going to instantiate the game object um, since we are not sending any information yet, okay? So within our network manager, we are going to create a new method called um, public void instantiate network player. Okay, perfect. And now we can say, first of all, we are going to create a game object. So game object, um, a public game object, of course, public game object, and we call this player preference. So player pref. In our instantiate network player method, we are going to call a new game object, call it go and equals to instantiate and our player preference to make a copy of our player preference, which is then our player. 
To call this method, we are going to create a singleton from our network manager to access all its methods. So we are going to create a public static network manager and we call this instance. And then we are going to create an awake function. So type in awake and within this awake function, we are creating the new instance of our network manager. So we are going to say instance equals this. Perfect. Now back to our network receive script, we can now say network manager dot instance dot instantiate network player. Perfect. And now we need to listen to our packet. So we are going to write down network config dot socket dot packet ID int server packet server packets instantiate player equals to new kmac network claim data arcs and our method which will be packet instantiate network player perfect that should be it now go back to our unity editor wait till everything is compiled now within our network manager you will see a new player pref where is no game object. So let's create a new player pref. For this course, of course, we are creating just a new 3D cube. We drag and drop this cube into our assets to make a player preference out of it. Delete it from our scene. Click our network manager, drag and drop the cube into our player pref. And that's it. We are done. Hit Control S to save the scene. Why not? And now go back to our server. Within our server, we are checking if everything is okay. Network config, calling the method, and perfect. Now we are going to start the server. There you go. Starting network got initialized. Go back to our Unity client. There you go. And now hit play. Now what should happen right now is that we are getting the message welcome to the server and that we are going to automatically instantiate a game object which is getting called by the server. So let's see what happens. Hit play. And there you go. As you can see, at first, welcome to the server message appears and then our game object is getting instantiated from our server code. Awesome. I hope you did like this little course how to instantiate a network player with my network solution. And yeah, if you do like, do like this video, hit the like, um, subscribe, and also don't forget to join my Discord server if you want a little bit of support. So thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.